BestBookBits.com presents Napoleon Bonaparte, an intimate biography by Vincent Cronin. A biography of French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte, written by Vincent Cronin, the biography style tends more towards a sympathetic overview of Napoleon's life and focuses more on the man's personality and relationships rather than his wars and battles, although these still play a significant part of the book. I wanted to find Napoleon I could picture as a living, breathing man. Vincent Cronin superbly realizes his objectives in this, probably the finest of all modern biographies of Napoleon. It is generally regarded as the author's masterpiece. The written summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring you the book summary of Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon felt strongly in favor of the oppressed and against any form of tyranny. Napoleon Bonaparte believed that personal happiness came from acting on behalf of your community to better their lives. After losing his first siege, Napoleon learned the power of quick decision making, seizing the moment, and striking when there's a favorable advantage. Napoleon aimed to be a true man of the people by not declaring his personal religion on them. But instead he gained insight to understand the majority desires of the French people, Catholicism, and then made that the decree. While most generals would send a part of their army one by one in war, Napoleon outsmarted them by sending his footsmen, cavalry and guns all at one faction and destroying it, and then moving on to another faction. Opposing generals didn't know what hit them until they lost the battle. If you're outnumbered, you need to win based on strategy and skill, because you won't win in a normal attack. Napoleon thrived at winning when undermanned. Deciding it best for France, Napoleon crowned himself emperor, and it worked because he had the support of the entire French army. Using friends of all classes and nobility, France ruled the French empire significantly well, given its large responsibility. He improved French streets, architecture, finances, and the pride of the people. Napoleon's impatience in his 1812 invasion of Russia cost his army big. If he waited until after the nasty winter, he would have mostly likely destroyed Russia and agreed to a favorable peace treaty with them. Napoleon's philosophy is, if you risk nothing, you win nothing. If you risk nothing, you win nothing. I love this. Presenting yourself with the confidence inspires confidence in your organization and others. It's a powerful skill to master. Napoleon used this after his Russian defeat to stay in control of the government. Napoleon's inflexibility could have never stemmed from so feeble a thing as your personal ambition. It was rooted in the principles of the revolution. The conclusion is that Napoleon, not more than most men, ambitious for himself, but he was ambitious for France, and he embodied the ambitions of 30 million Frenchmen. Napoleon put France's honor above France's interest and went to war against the continental powers of Russia, Prussia, and Austria. This united opponent caused his military downfall. One of Napoleon's fatal flaws was that he didn't understand human nature. It's this reason his sister lands defected to his enemy, the Parisians when it came to defend Paris and the most important general during treaty talks. There's often a favorable moment in war when the fate of each side can be determined. Act decisively and win it, or wait too long that the battle becomes a tie or loss. You can't win forever and all good things come to an end. After two captures, Napoleon finally dies as a prisoner in the English territory of St. Helena at 51 years old. Mini summary, Napoleon sought power not for his personal ambition, but to protect France's republic and right to liberty equality, and fraternity. Those were his motivations for his foreign and domestic decisions, and this truth led him to unmatched bravery and iron willpower as he ruled the battlefield and government. Napoleon goes down in history as one of the best military generals ever based on his operational army formations. Quick decision making, using strengths against opposing army weaknesses, and having individual factions of his army work together in unison. He used his innovative military strategy to expand France into one of the greatest empires Europe has ever seen in that time and a beautiful country. Napoleon changed the landscape of Europe forever based on his accomplishments, wars with nearly every European country, military style, and his improvements to cities. After coming from a middle-class family, he made the most of his life and his legacy lives on to prove it. Three favorite quotes. 
the Madalena affair left a lasting impression on Napoleon. It taught him, as only failure could, the difficulty of combined operations. It taught him the importance of speed, of the favorable moment when men are tensed for action, and the enemy surprised. It taught him the vital importance of firmness in a commander, and of discipline in the ranks. At dinner, Napoleon talked of his campaigns and confined the secret of success. The essential thing is to be afraid last. I have a good job ruling the empire. I could be in Paris, enjoying myself, lazing about. Instead, here I am with you, camping out and in action like everyone else, I can be hit by a bullet. I'm trying to rise above myself. Everyone in his own station must do the same. That's what greatness means. Action steps for you. Napoleon was a man of strong-willed convictions. He generally would have died for France, his honor, and his family. That's what drove his career choice and eventual success. What irrefutable truth do you hold? What's your why? What's your northern star that will propel you forward during the victories and also trials? Knowing who you are and your central truth is going to help you reverse engineer what it is you want out of life. By discovering your mission, you'll have a strong foundation to rest on instead of weak desires. And secondly, how can you use that to build yourself an accomplished career that you can be forever proud of? If it's not clear, this route is the opposite of taking a soul-sucking job solely for the money. It's aligning your passion to become the best version of yourself. It's denying yourself in the short term to build yourself a happy future. It's looking back on your life with proud honor, not poor man's disgrace. Napoleon did it. I'm working towards. Why don't you start today? P.S. It wouldn't hurt you to read this book to get a clearer idea of his personal convictions and how they empowered him to be France's all-time greatest leader. And that's a wrap on Napoleon. Subscribe to our channel and take a look at the hundreds of book summaries uploaded previously. To find hundreds of written summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. And for hundreds of audio podcast summaries, find us on mixcloud.com forward slash best book bits. If you like reading and want to be involved in sharing knowledge and spreading great book summaries, connect with myself by emailing us at info at bestbookbits.com. Thanks for watching and listening, and I hope you got something from this book summary on Napoleon. Have a great day. Take care.